all going through history, people will use books, cloths, materials for inspiration for designs. As you can see, there's a lovely collection of old books all around me. And these would have been collected by the manufacturers years ago. Some of the books date back to 1800 and they would have been used for the inspiration of design. My name is Yvonne Smith and I am Brinton's Design Archivist. This room actually being set up as it is now was so as they could bring clients into the room that they were working on projects and they hadn't really got a lot of idea of which way they wanted to go. They could bring them in and they could show them different things, you know, just to see what took their interest. The archives are a very important resource uh, for a designer. We're very fortunate working in Kidderminster that we've got it right next to us and we use it on a regular basis. If a customer says they want a certain style of design, for instance, they want to see a canth of scrolls, something a little bit different, we're able to go straight to the sort of point of source that where we want to get the, a design inspiration from and try and develop a design straight away. The wonderful thing about uh, the Brinton's archive is, is that we've got original design papers that were hand-painted from the very start of the carpet manufacturing in the town and in fact this is my oldest dated design paper. I'm not saying it's my oldest, but it's the oldest dated design paper. And this says that it's March 1798. Another interesting paper that we have in our archive is the original design paper that was chosen by Prince Albert for Osborne House. It's very nice because actually we, have, we do have the signature on the back. Although these papers are wonderful to have for us, for inspiration, for our designers worldwide, the other people that really, really treasure these uh, design papers are institutions like English Heritage, National Trust, the Royal Palaces, because these designs have been used in a lot of these uh, historical projects. The HD weave is obviously a, a process and a loom that Brinton has developed to enable us to get a lot more colours into the design. So we've, we've got a maximum of 32 colours that we can use. We've got a lot of designs where we, we're deliberately showing the moth to its full advantage. So as you saw with the design I was working on the screen, that had the full complement of colours in there. And it, uh, in certain areas, you could probably say, okay, yeah, it was, it's probably too dense and too texturized, but it's, it's there to serve a purpose. Working with this archive, you can see where designers today do get inspiration for the latest things that are coming out. And we do find that a lot of carpet designs actually are linked with the fashion walk. Not long ago you had all the suits, the chevrons and the tweeds, and that definitely followed through into carpets. Also the big damasks. Damasks are one of the oldest designs that you could ever find. So really, to be honest, when you're doing this job, there's not much that I see that I think is new. Yes, a new slant on it, but not new. If I was to sum up design in one word, it would be history.